tell you a story about a guy named Willie. Who's Willie, Pastor Smith? Willie's a fellow who lives in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. He actually lives in Milwaukee where I live. He's in his 50s. Amen? Amen. At a young age, Willie did something that was really bad. He made a bad decision. That decision cost him 26 years of his life behind bars. That's a long time. Upon his release, he was only able to find 90-day positions at temporary agencies that paid less than $10 an hour. Mm. Unfortunately, he couldn't find anything more permanently. If you look around Milwaukee County, you'll see that Willie is reflective of many African-American males that fit that model. That problem stems across our country at every urban community around the world. I would have to tell you that Willie has done some great things. He has, he has. Now let the people know what church you from, man. What church I'm from? I am Pastor Jerome Smith of the Greater Praise Church of God in Christ right there in Milwaukee, Wisconsin with Willie. And my name, can y'all hear me? Yeah. My name is Orlando Owens. Hey, I, Orlando. I want to make sure, can y'all hear me in this microphone? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> hey, Pastor Smith, how you What's doing? What's going on? Now, we're here to talk to you about the Joseph Project, right? But let me first set up the scenario and the story. What's the story? And the, the black drop. What I'm going to tell you is not going to be Laverne and Shirley. Oh. And it won't be happy days. Ain't no happy days. But I'm going to tell you the truth about what's really going on in the city of Milwaukee. I see. In the city of Milwaukee, the unemployment rate among African-American males is one of the highest in the nation. Also, in that same city, in <laughs> 5306. Six. What you know about that, Pastor? I grew up over there. Yes, you did. Yes, sir. In that zip code has one of the leading rates of incarceration. Did you hear we, that? We got to do something better than this. Oh, yeah. Now, those two things alone lead to some of the, the biggest downfalls for the breakdown of the black family. You hear what I'm saying? The breakdown of the black family. Now, the Joseph Project strives to solve that problem. Now, in our research, we talked to employers, and they told us, we can't find people. We can't find nobody. Nobody want to work. I said, well, Ain't that's that a lie. Fun. That's a lie. You ain't looking in the right places. You're just not. And so employers said, well, if you can find them, Orlando, we wouldn't have paid good money. Good money. Good money. <laughs> also, willing to look past a person's background. You mean like Willie? Just like Willie. Hey, Amen. Now, the Joseph, the Joseph Project's mission is to connect those generally seeking opportunities with, with opportunities, opportunities that, that already, already exist. <laughs> That's powerful right there. I know we talk about job creation, but we got jobs that we can't fill. So let's fill what we got already, right? Amen. So the history of what we did. Back in 20, summer 2015? About two years ago. Two years ago. Absolutely. Two years this month. This year as I We kind of young, just like yesterday. <laughs> we started this uh, collaboration. We, we went out and we talked to the churches. Uh-huh. And also the business. The business community. And we wanted to figure out a way, how do we alleviate any obstacles or barriers to employment? Because we believe that people really want to work. I think they do. In particular, black men. Them black folks want to work, man. The man, they want to take care of them kids. Yeah. So what's unique about us is that we have a, a tremendous volunteer base. Thank you, Lord. Has a, tr a tremendous volunteer, volunteer base. They teach most of our workshops. But let me also tell you what's unique about us. Wow. We don't take any, some, no, no federal or state funding. Zero. Nothing. This is how we do that. The churches go out and find and vet potential applicants that want to work. We put emphasis on the word want to because we discovered something early on. Go ahead. There's something valuable about a need versus a want. Uh -huh. When people come through with a need, when that need is met, there is no more value come there. Come on, come but on. But when they come because they want something, they're going to do everything in everything. their power to do what they need to do, be where they need to be, and how they need to do it. All right. That's just how it works. That's how I get And how we do this... And how we do this is we compare, a, we put together a workshop, a workshop that is designed to give them application and interview experience. Mm -hmm. Once we give them that experience, we arrange for them to be interviewed with top-notch reputable companies that pay north of $12 an hour. North of it. Can somebody say amen? amen. Once amen. they get hired. We don't drop them off once they get hired. Once they get hired, we go with our church vans mm -hmm. and we pick them up and we take them to and from work every single day. day. Seven days a week, 48 trips every single come week. Come on, come Ain't on. Ain't God good? Come on. Amen, Amen guys. All good right. Day. After we've done all that, we found out some things. Mm -hmm. There's some things that we can't quite measure. Okay. 
And those things that we can't quite measure is the impact that it has on the family and the individual. So when that happens, we put our workshops together. Yeah, we do. Our workshop only lasts four days. Four days. Four short days. Four days, that's that it. That workshop is designed to do three things and three things mainly. Three. Those things first and foremost first. is prepare them for a successful interview experience. Then. Secondly, we prepare them to meet their new team. All right. We prepare them to be ready for change. And finally, somebody finally. say finally. Finally. Finally, we prepare them for success. We got to have some success, amen? amen? But the problem with success, with success comes pitfalls, and we prepare them to be ready for the pitfalls as they come. Now, let me just be honest with you. Be honest, man. We have not been successful alone. What you say? Thank you, Lord. We had a lot of help and support. We have Who a help lot us? of great companies. Who help us? Well, let me just say, uh, one of these companies, uh, John Deere. Oh. Everybody need a good riding lawnmower in your life. You need to get that in your life. But after you cut the, well, after you cut the grass, you get a little hungry. A little hungry. Y'all can tell we have a company called Johnsonville Rocks. Hey, v. If you ain't had a Johnsonville Rocks, you just ain't living. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> now, after dinner, after dinner, you're going to need a little dessert, right? Now, you may not know the name of this company, Denali Ingredients, but you definitely know their product. Anybody Moose like tracks? Moose Tracks ice cream? That's who makes it. Now, one of our companies, NEMAC in particular, loves us so much, y'all come in close, come on close. They said if they could, they would keep us as their own little secret. Their best kept secret. Their own. Now, let's get to the numbers. Uh-oh. The numbers. As of today, class 37 and 36. 36 and 37. Are happening today while we're here. Absolutely. The class has still got to go on. Jobs still got to be filled. People got to make money. I talked right? to them last night and everything going well. Is it go it's going well? <laughs> yeah. So, to date, 279 people have completed our soft skills class, right? Uh -huh. 179 are still, got jobs. Oh, yeah. 110 are still working. Ain't that something? That gives us right about a 60% retention rate, right? Mm -hmm. But let me tell you something about the individuals who got to work. Hmm. On average, they make about, 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 about seven bucks? No. No, 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 hold on. Go north, son, about, go about, north. About nine, about nine bucks. Go north, son, no, go no, north. No, 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 $15. $15 an hour. An hour. That y'all can clap to that. Y'all can clap to that. <laughs> now, with that money earned, that's about three point four million dollars pumped into the local community in Milwaukee. Wow. That means dads are paying rent. Uh huh. Moms are buying clothes. Uh huh. We got a lot of happy landlords in Milwaukee because of Joseph Project. <laughs> Just letting you know. But also, <clears throat> our state and local officials told us a little something right here. Y'all don't got to go further than this room right here. I'm gonna tell y'all this. For each person that we can get off the system, off the system, mm -hmm. we save about, it was about $50,000 per year per person, which yields about a 5.5 .5 mil, million dollars. Mil Woo. to the savings to the taxpayers. That's awesome. That is amazing. That's amazing. Now here's simple. While we can just simply stay in our lane and do what it is that we do, hmm. there's too many people out there that's looking for great workers. Too many workers out there that's looking for great jobs. Mm -hmm. So we can't. So for an example, there's a fella in Milwaukee by the name of Andre. Andre. Andre is currently incarcerated at Milwaukee County House of Correction. Right now? He's got eight months left to his release from jail. From jail. Did you know what happened? What happened? Just last week, we did a pilot at the House of Correction. Yes, we did. And Andre did the class uh -huh. on last week, Friday. Friday? Somebody say Friday. Friday? Last week, Friday, he interviewed with one of our great companies. Yes, he did. On this week, Monday. Can uh -huh. you say Monday? Monday! This week, Monday, he got hired! Y'all clap for that. Clap for that. There's so much more going on in the Joseph Projects. I forgot to tell you about our the you know, rest of the story. You know, look, Finn is telling the story about Brother Willie. Brother Willie? Brother Willie. Let me tell y'all about Brother Willie. See, I told y'all the bad. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we know there's the good, the bad, and the ugly, mm -hmm. but here go the good. The good. And so, Mr. Willie came through the second class in the Joseph Project way back when. Way back when. When he got in there, he got a job immediately. He took that job by the grasp and ran off with it. Uh -huh. He loved that job so much so, so much. that he worked eight, eight months, months straight, straight, seven days in a week. row, never quit, never did anything but work. Never missed a single day. 
That's what happened with Mr. Willie. And when you find out a little bit more, I started digging a little deeper to say, digging, why would this digging, man do this? Digging, digging. He became a productive citizen in our community. What he saw doing? Now he's paying his own bills. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I heard he put money up for retirement. Come on, come on, and man. And then a come young on, lady man. told me just last come week on, man. that he's contemplating what? getting married what? and buying a house. Here comes the Ain't bride. Ain't God good. Here comes the bride. <laughs> Let me tell you something. The Joseph Project is dedicated. The Joseph Project is committed. The Joseph Project work hard. We do everything we can do to commit to what it is that we do. We create a seamless transition that takes people from confinement uh -huh. all the way to true freedom, freedom so that they don't have to worry about being financially bankrupt in their lifetime. Right. We are breaking cycles of poverty. Mm -hmm. One person at a time. Uh -huh. Can somebody say amen? Amen. I can't hear you. Amen. I can't hear you. Amen. But for the sake of people like Willie and Come on, Andre, Come on, preach, as man. men and women preach, of man. God, we have a moral obligation to take the Joseph Project everywhere and anywhere we can to connect those that are simply seeking, looking for opportunities with the opportunities, opportunities that, that already exist. exist. And why? Why? Simply because we all we are all the Joseph, Joseph Project. Project. God bless you. Give me a hug, bro. Good job, y'all.